Cutting into your podcast feed twice in one week, Frank, for a little <laughs> bonus Very dose sneaky. of the reading room. But we have to announce the release of a second brand new Radiopedia course, and this one is authored by our benevolent dictator for life, Frank Gaylard. <laughs> Definitely not for life. <laughs> it's already been 18 years, and, and as they say, the crown doth weigh heavily. <laughs> But yes, I finally finished another learning pathway, and this one's on enhancing brain tumours. Oh, who would have thought that this this new one would be on brain tumours as well? (laughs) (laughs) I remember when I first spoke to you about this project, it was, what was it, like two years ago now? (laughs) And you said that you were going to quickly knock out a learning pathway that covered all the different types of brain tumours that should only take you about three or four months. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. It was meant to be finished by Christmas and not... Not the Christmas that's been passed, <laughs> the one before, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so what happened, mate? What happened? Oh, my God. I went all George R. R. Martin on this project. <laughs> <laughs> Has he even put out another book since the series I don't think he's finished it. Anyway, I had planned to do this magnus opus of a learning pathway that would cover all brain tumours. Mm-hmm. And I started working on it and I quickly realised that doing the whole thing in one was just way too big and it would take a little bit longer than a few months and so I thought I'd divide it you know into parts so that I could just focus on getting part one out which has been out for probably close to a year now which is on diffuse gliomas and I'm very proud of that one it's got very very good reviews and this my friend is part two which is enhancing brain tumors part two the second movie is not always as good as the first. Uh, this one's pretty good. It's the continuation of part one. So it assumes you've watched the first one. Mm-hmm. For example, I don't really cover glioblastomas because they're in the diffuse glioma, but they're clearly enhancing brain tumors. And these mm-hmm. are parenchymal brain tumors, not meningiomas or... And they're supratentorial brain tumors, so not <laughs> posterior fossa ones. And so there's parts one and part two, and then that's it. We're all done, are we? No more? <laughs> not even remotely. <laughs> But part three is half done, at least half done, possibly more than half done. And it focuses on epileptogenic tumours. So Uh those tumours that are particularly prone to causing epilepsy. And again, you know, glioblastoma cause epilepsy and so Mm -hmm. do cerebral metastases, but I don't cover those. I want to just focus on the classic ones. that The bubbly ones. Yeah, some of the bubbly ones, the temporal lobe ones. So that one is, I'm hoping coming out before Radio Pia 2024, mm-hmm. but we'll see. And and there are a few more parts at various stages of development, by which I mean I haven't started those parts yet, <laughs> but there's going to be probably be five, maybe six parts in total. Oh, wow. And then it is this going is to be... This is sounding a lot like Harry Potter, which reminds me <laughs> of your <laughs> Harry Potter knockoff novel. That's, that's what's delayed this, isn't it? You've been spending right. too much time working on that. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and, of course, this course is credited for 6 AMA PRA Category 1 credit, open brackets, S, close brackets, TM, all in italics, which is exciting. It is very exciting. You're going to tell people a little bit more about the details of the course. What can they expect? Well, it's very much like the diffuse glioma in terms of structure. It's two halves. The first half has seven, I think, cases that are pretty deep dives in full scrollable cases that you look at on your own. And then I go through them, not only pointing out specific features, but also going on some semi-random tangents. No, not you. (laughs) But I think these tangents are really important. They're the kind of teaching that you do when you're in a room with someone, but you don't necessarily have the opportunity to do as part of a a lecture or a a standard, because they're not a whole talk, but they're still really important and they fit well so overall there's uh, a couple of hours of video case commentary i guess they are Mm -hmm. and then after that there's a bunch of review questions and then a half dozen additional cases that are practice cases some of them are enhancing supratentorial brain tumors some of them are mimics so conditions that look like it and that you need to be able to distinguish and each of those has some questions not just yes no questions but questions that sort of push the topics that we've covered in the previous half Mm -hmm. uh, and extend it along with some sample reports and histology. And it covers a very broad range of topics within that framework of enhancing supratentorial tumors. 
And I can say, as a neuroradiologist, that there is still great value in completing this learning pathway. I'm only halfway through it, I must admit, at the moment, but I've already learned so much. And it's just cemented a lot of the concepts that you taught in the first one, the diffuse glioma pathway. Yeah, I can see this being very, very useful, even as someone who you know, reports brain tumours every day. So I thank you very much for putting well, it thank together. Thank you, Dixon. That means a lot. Now, how can people get hold of this fantastic new course, Gayla? Well, as usual, the course is free for Radiopedia All Access Pass holders That's and for price. individuals in the 125 low and middle income countries who get our All Access Pass for free. Or you can, of course, if you prefer, directly purchase 12-month access for a ridiculously small fee compared to what pretty much everyone else in the education sphere is charging. Especially when it feels like you're sitting in the room with Frank <laughs> Gaylard, unable to avoid his stories. <laughs> so just No, you can. You can play me twice the split speed right. or even skip, skip forward, forward. So it's significantly better. <laughs> or imagine this. Imagine if someone listens to your stories twice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What kind uh, of torture? If you don't speed me up, I do have a tendency to speak quite slowly, so I'm probably good napping material. <laughs> so people can just visit radiopedia.org slash courses and look for the Enhancing Brain Tumor Learning Pathway, and I recommend going through the Davos Glioma Learning Pathway first if yes, you've please. got access to that one. And we are not allowed, if it's official, we're not allowed to say stay rad on these short bonus episodes. <laughs> we have to sign off with something else, Frank. What are we going to say? Uh, oh, it's hard, isn't it? Because we're so it used is. to saying stay so, We're so used to it. We're so uh, used to it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think we have to do it. I think we just have to say, even with these short episodes, stay we rad. want people to stay rad. Yeah. yeah. It's just because it's a way of life. It's not just about <laughs> the, the fortnightly episode. This is a, this is an everyday mantra that you should it be is. saying to yourself as when, you get up. The first thing you say, you look at yourself in the mirror, you look deeply into your own <laughs> eyes and say, stay rad. Stay rad. Yep. All right. Well, we'll be back. I, I can assure you we'll be back with one of our usual standard episodes next on the, the podcast feed. But until then, or will stay we? Stay rad. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Stay rad. <laughs>